everyone, Robin Taylor here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today is a video for Fashion Friday. I'm gonna show you this makeup look that I did for my music video for Killing It. So check out the music video if you haven't already. And yeah, let's just get started first with face makeup. So I bought all of these new products from Sephora. Milk is a brand that I really like, cruelty free. I'm trying to change all of my makeup and beauty products to cruelty free only. So I've begun that journey. Use the beauty blender to blend. I'm gonna pull my hair back for this. So I can keep it out of my face. Now I also bought this, uh, it says Sunshine Skin Tint. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer. So for me, I'm not, I'm not too crazy about like liquid foundations just because it can leave you very cakey and I think over time probably causes wrinkles and stuff. If you use too much of it, but with tinted moisturizer, it's like just a thin dewy layer, um, like a tint, you know, but it also moisturizes at the same time. And this is, a, I don't know, this is just good for people with dry skin. I've naturally like, my skin is just really dry. So I like to use a tinted moisturizer. Yeah, see it comes out like a pump. I used to pump it and put it on my face, but I just pump it on my hands and do this. I feel like I have more control. <laughs> Make sure you always get the neck too because the weird line that people we have in when they do makeup is like not good. <laughs> but since it's all over my hands, I'm just gonna wipe it off real quick. Next part of my face is I use Kat Von D's. Oh, all these products are new. This is my first time using, not my first time, but uh, my first time buying and experiencing all these products. So this isn't like, these aren't my go-to just yet. I was giving them a shot. I think they are my go-to for now. I really like them. Um, but I bought Kat Von D's um, face powder. It's called Lock It In Face Powder. Once I do concealer and uh, tinted moisturizer, then I do the powder foundation, just so there's not like a shiny look to it, you know? This face part of the makeup routine is what I do for like most of my makeup routines. Okay, so once my face powder is on, then I also bought this new, I haven't worn blush for years, I haven't really been a blush person, but I decided to buy some blush again. I don't know how to pronounce this, Jouer. Jouer. This is cruelty free as well. I don't know, I really like it. It's perfect shades, just two shades. I use the darker one, so I go like that and then I blow, and I will put this under the cheekbone, like right here. Actually, you don't have to smile for this part. <laughs> and I use the lighter color right here, this lighter color, um, for the top of the cheek bone, like right here, at the top of the smile. Alrighty, so there's the fizz. Um, now we're gonna get into the eyeshadows. Quick coffee sip. So for the Killing It music video, this was for the light up tunnel, the light up tunnel scene. I did pink and purple. So we're gonna use this super hot pink color here. What we're gonna do is put this on the lid right here. So let's go. Oh my God, it super shows up. It's so bright. Yeah, by the way, I forgot to say, so this is Beverly Hills Cosmetics La Vidin Prince. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but it's super cool, super bright colors. I absolutely love it. I got it for free from a makeup party because my friend's a professional makeup artist here in LA and she invited me to the party and they were giving out free eyeshadow palettes. The two out of three eyeshadow palettes I own uh, were from this party. I, and the third eyeshadow palette that I own was from a live streaming party that I got for free as well. So every single eyeshadow palette that I own, which is only three, I've gotten for free from like, uh, from LA parties. <laughs> I love it. So I just had a spam call even though my phone is on Do Not Disturb. How do they get through? Like how do they get through the Do Not Disturb? I don't get it. So I've done the lids with the pink. So then what I do here is I grab the angled brush. Now, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I just do this for fun, but I just wanted to show you guys my fun little makeup book. I do I do have fun with doing makeup for video shoots and stuff. 
So now we're gonna grab the purple. What, what's its name? Sueño. Sueño on those lids. And we're gonna do this for the outside like wing look effect. Okay. All right, so once I have once I have the eyeshadows done, I go to my highlighter. So I have Too Faced uh, highlighter. It's really cute, shaped like a heart. I don't think Too Faced is cruelty-free, unfortunately, but I did buy this over a year ago and there's so much left of it. So I'm just gonna use it until it's done and then I'll like transfer over to a different brand. I go to my highlighter, I grab this little brush like this and I Put this under my eyebrow. This is supposed to give the eyebrow like a lifting effect. Okay, so once I do that, I go back to the makeup brush that I had for the purple or like whatever color I was using up here. And I kind of blend between the um, highlighter and the eye shadow, just cause I don't want it to be like a harsh line there. I want it to be like a nice blend. So like I'll use a little bit of the brush, use a little bit of my finger. The finger is great for blending. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Now I do liquid eyeliner. This is L'Oreal. According some art to some articles I read, they are cruelty free. Hopefully they are. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna do the wing effect with the liquid eyeliner. Now that both sides are done with the liquid eyeliner, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick and then we'll do the lashes. So I'm using L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set. I really like this because and it comes with this brush, uh, this angled brush. And I have the light brown, light brunette one. So I'm like a lighter brunette hair color, you know? And I just fill it in the eyebrows like this with the brush. Now I take this brush and I brush it out. Just like that. So another thing I actually really like to use is called clear brow gel. Yeah, clear, clear brow gel. I can't say it. Clear brow gel. <laughs> and I like to put this on top uh, sometimes and always. And sometimes I'll do this um, when I'm doing like a more of a natural day, like don't put anything on my eyebrows. And not that I have crazy eyebrow hair that does crazy things, but it's just nice to keep it in shape. All right, so next we're going to do, I'm just, oh no. All right, so next, hold on. Uh -huh. We're gonna do eyelashes. So this is Bam Glam Beauty. This is actually a brand uh, I had interviewed on the radio show on Dash Radio, Caliente Girls and she gave us some free lashes. Like, this is so dope. It's like comic book style. Uh, so she designs all her own lashes. You guys should definitely follow them. Link in the description below. Bam Glam Beauty. She has her own eyelash glue and all that stuff. It's just, it's so dope. Another makeup thing I got for free. So I feel like most of my makeup stuff is actually free. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do the eyelashes. This one is called Boy Bye. Boy Bye, funny. I just like that she has purple hair because I dyed my hair purple and I want to do it again. Not permanently, just semi-permanent. Um, just like it lasts like a month. Another phone call. I don't know how these people are getting through the do not disturb, like honestly. We put the glue on like this 
maybe wait like 10 to 20 seconds. I like putting on lashes like when, when I don't have nails on because I've, it's so much easier. When I have the like nails on, it's so hard. I have to like use um, tweezers and all that. Well, let's take a coffee break, a coffee sip break. Water too. I'm just gonna put it on. Wow. All right, so now let's do the other side. Here's the look. And for my next trick, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I did the hairstyle for the music video. So what I did was I did a braid down the center here and then I used these swirly things. You can put um, in your hair. I got these from CVS. I usually use about like four of them. Um, so yeah, you can get these from CVS from the hairstyle aisle. I don't know, Rite Aid or Walgreens or one of those. So this is how I did the hairstyle. You wanna take something like, I don't know, like a pen or something. I use a nail file. Um, don't worry, it's like brushed off and all that. Just go down the side, one side, separate it. Cause you want it to be like a nice straight line, you know? Other side, okay. Usually I would use gel, but since I have other stuff to do today and I'm gonna take all this makeup off after this video and take out the hair and everything, um, I'm not gonna use gel. But normally I would use gel for this hairstyle. This is actually one of my favorite hairstyles. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should just keep it in all day. I do like it. We're gonna do a braid. It doesn't really look like a braid at the end, but I try. I use um, these small, clear, super small, clear um, stretchy hair ties. You can get these from the hair, se hair section of CVS as well. So you're going to do small little tie. So you want it to be like just kind of separated like that. I'm going to do the ponytail. Normally I would, you know, use gel for this as well. So I just want to make sure that it's straight and all that jazz. Make sure it's centered. And then I have this thing. I also use, um, so this is a gold like ponytail cover. Super dope. Cover, use that to cover the ponytail. Make it look like that. Yeah, so there we go. And then I'm gonna use like four of these. So then we spiral these in there. There we go, four back. Oh, and I forgot to do lipstick. Okay, so I'll always finish it off with pink lipstick. Well, for this look, yeah. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do with the makeup was put my highlighter on the inside here. I always like to put highlighter on the inner corners. Um, it just gives it a nice little fairy look. look. And then I put my highlighter at the very top of the cheekbones like this. And I blend with my finger. Yeah, there we go. Nice little finishing touch. There it is. Here is the makeup look and hair look. So there's the hairstyle, you can see. Um, and then here's the makeup look. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to show you guys more looks for more music videos of mine. Make sure you press that subscribe button. Please like the video as well. It helps me a lot as a YouTuber. 
And yes, yeah, stay tuned for Fashion Friday videos. Every Friday, I'll be posting fashion style videos, whether it's like, you know, a makeup routine like this or showing you um, my favorite outfits or parts like outfits that I wore in music videos or, you know, something from my fashion line. So stay tuned, press that subscribe button and click all notifications, like the video, and make sure to follow me on all my socials to stay up to date with new songs and new videos. And I'll see you next time. Much love.